Well, in the heavy equipment technology program here at State Tech, uh, we've actually got it set up to where the student works with us and an employer throughout the program. Once the student's admitted into the program, we find them an interning employer and they're going to work with that employer for two years or the entire course of the program. Most schools you go to, you know, you either get all shop time or all in the classroom. They don't, you don't get the hands on, you don't get to see what you're learning about. You have to get, make your own visual. Well, with this, you learn in the classroom and they bring you out here and you can actually see, you know, what's in the diagram right in front of you, you get to tear it apart see how it works. What they'll do is the student will come to us for eight weeks in the fall when they're admitted. They'll come here, they'll receive instruction, both technical and gen ed, and then they go to the employer for eight weeks and it's a hands-on internship. It is a paid internship, so they're receiving money while they're actually learning and receiving an education. Yeah, so we're, we spend uh, close to half of our time in the shop, so that gives us good hands-on experience so we can go right out into the field and we're kind of uh, used to working with our hands, we know what's going on. A good HET student here at State Tech is going to have a drive to succeed. And what we really need is somebody that is willing to go in there and develop a mindset and a critical thinking path. Something that gives them problem solving skills because that's what our employers are looking for. Most people here are very uh they help you, you know, it's not like you're just on your own. If you need help, the people here, the teachers, the students, everyone helps you in any way they can. You're not just kind of on your own. Like at a bigger college, I know I've heard, I've got friends that go to bigger colleges and they say that you're just kind of on your own. You don't get any one-on-one -on -one with the teacher or anything like that. Well here, if you're stuck on something, Bill, Tom, whoever your instructor is, they'll go back and make sure that you understand the information.